I am in the kitchen with my new best friends, <laughs> president and co-founder of Crepe Delicious, Oded, and chef, Mariah. Maria. Mariah. Mariah. Very good. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so first, this looks amazing. And they've told me that they would like to get me cooking crepes. And before I make a disaster of the kitchen, I would like to point out that you guys are doing some wonderful work with Breakfast for Learning. Did you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're trying to help kids in in the course of the country, especially in Toronto area. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have food, they don't have meal to take to school. So we're trying to, uh, to raise money and to support that company, Breakfast for Learning. Uh, we're doing in November 7 and 8 at Von Mills, we're doing a special event. And each crepe we're gonna sell will be one dollar support to the Breakfast for Learning. Also, we have a donation box in our store. Each location, once a month, donation one dollar for each crepe they're selling for the Breakfast for Learning. Okay, and to help kids have a healthy start to their day that maybe don't get the chance to? Yeah. Yeah? That, that is the, that's <laughs> that the, sums it up? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, it's a great cause, and I think that people should have a crepe and help somebody uh, have a breakfast. I think that's really important. So now, you guys want to put me to work. Are you ready? I'm really scared, but I am ready because it looks like a fancy process. So what's my first step? Okay, here we have the crepe mix. Okay. Uh, so it's um, this batter, so you just put it like in the middle, in okay. a scoop in the middle, and with the uh, crepe spreader, just keep going around. In a circle? Uh, yeah. Okay, so how much do I need? Just like maybe that much? Yeah, perfect. All right, there's no turning back <laughs> now. Okay, yeah, that's very good. Now how, what, how many locations do you guys have? Uh, we have uh, uh, 14, 15 locations uh, in our, uh, our round GTA. Uh, uh, is this right? Perfect. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Good. Excellent. Really? Excellent? <laughs> she did say excellent. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Really? Okay, because I feel ridiculous, but that's okay. All right. Then what happens? Perfect. So the with wood uh, spatula, we just like not to scratch the crepe grill, just go like this and flip it like in half. Flip it in half? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Can you make crepes at home even if you don't have this special? Of course. Oh my gosh. Oh, in a good, perfect, just go. Uh, oh. Perfect. Ah, okay. <laughs> Look at that. It looks kind Amazing. of Amazing. <laughs> All right, let's tuck that in. Yeah, yeah. You, can, you can use like a nonstick pan with, um, with the perfect like uh, crepe delicious mix uh, better. You're going to do like a wonderful crepe and going to have a wonderful. Really? Okay, yeah. so it can, actually, you know what, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Okay. I will say that, I'm, I, you know, I'm kind of getting used to it. Well, not used to you it, put but. put it in this pan. Now I put it on this pan? Yeah. Okay. okay. And the first cap we're going to make, it will be caramel apple. That's our oh, special yes, of the month. Oh, yes, I really wanted to try this. Can you imagine? Caramel, apples, and walnuts. Mmm, <laughs> all mixed together in a delicious crepe. I'm getting, I'm getting excited. <laughs> just, I'm saying it. My mouth is watering. So how you, do I do it? You're gonna spread the caramel. You're gonna squeeze. Squeeze the caramel. Yeah, the amount you like. Okay. The best is to start from the top and to go down. So. Don't be okay. scared. Okay. <laughs> now, if I don't have the pan, I, you can still use it. That's great. But how do I do the swishy thing at home? The swishy thing. That's if, a technical <laughs> term, by the way. <laughs> if you can you use a fork, or how do you do that? No, you just use a regular pen, you make sure the pen is hot, yeah. you put the mix on top and then you just pick up the pen and you move around until it spread Oh, evenly. so you just sort of drizzle it back and forth? Exactly. Okay. Look, and I made an A for Alana because I'm a <laughs> dork. There you go. Now yeah. you put the apple. Apple, okay. Put apple. Everyone's laughing at me because that's <laughs> super dorky. Oh my gosh, does it matter that that's bubbly? Don't worry. Okay, all right. So they seem so calm and I'm super stressed <laughs> out about the fact that I'm cooking right now. Okay, yep. Yeah. Try to make this look nice. You can nice. pick it up. Robert. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> Dad's telling me to go faster. Okay. <laughs> no, no faster. Just to put more apple. Can I put more caramel? Yeah, of course. Like two layers. Ah, oh, yeah. I like the way you guys make breakfast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Thank you. Now, why crepes? Why did you want to go into the crepe business? First, it's healthy. And we want something that will be light, healthy, people can eat, when it will not get fat when they eat dessert and when they eat a regular meal. Our crepes, it's only 1.3 gram fat. Uh, 1.2 grams of fat? Yeah, each crepe. Okay. The base of the crepe. Only wow, that's impressive. Yeah, under 1030 calorie. Okay. So now it depends the feeling you're going to feel. If you're using Nutella, it's around 250 calorie each crepe. It's a very good dessert. Nutella is very uh, Parisian. <laughs> mm? Yeah. 
I was in Paris, and you could get that right at a stand. Yeah, you just get very Nutella European. And yeah. All over the world. Yeah, okay. Now you add the, just... Sprinkle the it? Yeah, you can even put... And I'm being super careful, but... Okay, oh, oh, there we go. Look at that. I did a really good job. Very good. Yeah. Okay, now how do I get that beautiful thing to the plate? Yeah. You can... So. Whoa. See, that's because I did a bad job with no, my spreading. No, that's good. You just take this one and you just... Oh, Ode he's so sweet. It. He's like, no, no, you did good. <laughs> <laughs> turn to three. Nobody will see it. Now okay. you turn the other Except side. Except for all the viewers at home. Yeah. <laughs> just them. Yeah. Okay. Now you just pick it up gently to the on the plate. And slide it in. Yeah. Oh, and you yeah. make the portion with the caramel and you can put some apple on top. Let's do a qu another drizzle. Because the caramel is awesome. Oh, yeah. oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Like, okay, can we get a can we get a look at my hard work here? Look at that, that's beautiful. No, no one's gonna show. Oh yeah, there it is. Very nice. Okay, let's make one for Chris quick. Let's do a, the opposite. Let's do a little ham and cheese, if we have time. Look, I'm gonna do it super can fast. You show one yeah. open. Yeah. See, you guys have made me all confident about it now. I go like this, easy breezy. I'm gonna drag my little spatula around. Or my, what did I say the technical term was? Swirl? It's very good. Swishy. Swishy device? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Chris yelled that out for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chris, this is going to, you're going to love me after this. I will be back into compliments. No, this one you don't close. You I don't close it, it? Oh, okay. We're going to leave you it open. just pick it up and you put it on this machine. Okay. Or so leaving it open, too. I'm going to pick it up and put it on to the other machine. Oh, crackers. Now I'm no, getting it's scared. perfect. I will let <laughs> Oh my gosh, because we only have one minute. Maybe we should do, maybe we'll make Chris. Oh, we're going to crack the egg. All right, we're going to break it. Yeah, look at that. It's all happening. Mm -hmm. Oh, for you? Uh-huh. And then yes. do I just roll it around? Yeah. See, this, this is a delicious breakfast. I have the dessert over there. Got breakfast over here. You can kind of put anything in here, can't you? Exactly. Everything you like, everything you have in the fridge that time, that's what you fill with. Perfect. Okay. All right. Now then do I fold it in half? Exactly. You fold it in half, you let it cook. Okay. So I'm going to fold this in half, and Chris can have this later because it'll cook during our break. But for more information, you can go to www.crepedelicious.com. For this recipe and for more, check out our website at www.rogerstv.com slash daytime Toronto. I'm going to stay here, finish this crepe for Chris so I get the brownie points I deserve, <laughs> and we'll see you when we get back. Thanks.